So in this Elden Ring video, I'm going to be showing you all something that I just figured out. I had no idea about this. This is insane. There's something else extra that you can do after getting through Ronnie's questline, which blew me away because there was already something special that happened after we got through it. We got to encounter Blight outside of Ronnie's Rise, and when we did, he was immediately hostile with us, which I'm not going to explain why he's hostile with us right now. Feel free to do the questline if you haven't. I highly recommend it. You can start it by speaking to Ronnie over here at this location at the top of Ronnie's Rise. But yeah, also, it turns out there's something else that can happen too if we head over to smithing master eiji well that's what he first introduces himself as and then after a while he becomes the war counselor which he's not far from ronnie's rise he's located right over here at this waypoint called the road to the manor you can find him right behind this wall illusion at king's realm ruins once over here at this guy um, if we go up to talk to him after specifically defeating Blyde over outside of Ronnie's Rise, he'll actually have a special dialogue option that we can choose with him. As you can see, we could talk about Blyde's death. And here's what he says when we bring this up. Unthinkable. How could Blythe, how did he break free from his cell? No. More importantly, Blythe became a curse that plagued Lady Rani yet even in madness gave himself to her i've made a grave misjudgment and i thought myself a capable war counselor i'll catch up with you soon enough Blythe. when i do i only hope you'll accept my apology so yeah that's what he says over that topic i didn't expect this whatsoever but he is the guy who imprisoned Blyde because of what was happening. I also was wearing Blyde's armor too to see if he had anything interesting to say over that, but nothing special happened whatsoever. However, here's what happens if we return back here after talking to him about Blyde's death. You just have to fast travel away and come back. As you can see, he'll be looking like this. I'm not exactly sure what happened to him, it's kind of odd that this happens after we talk to him, though, about Blyde's death. But we can't find these bodies around the vicinity of him, so it seems like these guys were a part of whatever happened here. Also, in EG's Anvil, we can find an item that we can pick up, and when we pick this up, we can get his bell bearing as well as his helmet. And his helmet is amazing. Check this out. The stats are great. Definitely a solid helmet. And yeah, if you take the bell bearing over to the table of Lost Grace and head this way back to the twins, you can offer his bell bearing to be able to purchase what he sold. So you're still able to buy everything he provided. However, now we're not able to get our armaments strengthened anymore from him. But yeah, I guess I'll start wrapping up this video. Hopefully this was something new to you like it was me. If you found this enjoyable, consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like on it. The support is greatly appreciated. As always, that's totally up to you. Just leaving a reminder here at the end. I'm out of here though. Thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.